to Deck Obsessed. This is Rhonda, and in this video, I'm reviewing the Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann, who is an artist, magic maker, owner of a graphic design company called Pixel Brand, and the creator of numerous other decks, which you'll find reviews of on my channel. Links are in the description box. For those of you who, like me, prefer to clearly see the cards in the deck before you decide to buy it to make sure you resonate with the art and the messages, I'll be showing you every card in the deck. I'll also be giving you a basic overview of the guidebook and I'll be reading a sample in-depth card description so you can get a feel for the card's deeper meanings. Let's get started. The cards come in this sturdy box. Inside there is the message and into the gray we follow like a thousand flickering stars. And there in the sunlit, in a sunlit hollow, we lose and find what is ours. Dear light and shadow seer, may this deck help you find what is yours. XO Chrisan. And then there's this beautiful design inside the top. Hopefully you can see that. The cards and the guidebook are two and three fourths inches by four and three fourths inches. There are the standard 78 cards in the deck. The cards are a nice weight with a semi-gloss. It looks like a matte or semi-gloss finishing. The guidebook is black and white inside with small reproductions of the cards for each page on the card description. So the Lightseer's Tarot deck is filled with mystical imagery that remains true to the spirit of the traditional Rider-Waite-Smith tarot meanings and may even add a little more depth and context, context in some instances. The deck's featuring a diverse range of contemporary people as well as a lot of added symbolism that readers may draw from intuitively. So let's have a look at the cards. Here's the back of the cards. The Fool, The Magician, The High Priestess, The Empress, The Emperor, The Hierophant. The Lovers. The Chariot. Strength. The Hermit. The wheel, justice, the hanged man, death, infinity, rebirth, temperance. The Devil, The Tower, The Star, The Moon, The Sun, Judgment, the world. Now we're moving into the suits or the minor arcana cards. This is the ace with the wands suit, starting with the ace of wands. Two of wands. Three. Four, five, six, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Page of Wands, Knight, Queen, King, and now we're moving into the Cups suit, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, page of cups, knight, queen, king. And now we're moving into the suit of swords. This is Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. And now we're moving into the suit of Pentacles. This is the Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, three of Pentacles, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, page of pentacles, knight of pentacles, queen. Of Pentacles, and the final card, King of Pentacles. So now we're going to take a closer look at the guidebook. The guidebook is very beginner friendly. 
as Chris Sand starts with some tarot basics, including the structure of the tarot, the major and minor arcana and court cards. She includes sections on reading upright cards and reversals, connecting with your deck, and of course, some spreads. Then we get right into the card meanings. For each card in the deck, there is a two page spread. Then uh, beneath the card title and small image of the card, there are two keyword sections highlighted. There's the light seer keywords to help you interpret the card if it falls upright in your reading, followed by the shadow seer keywords to help you interpret cards that fall upside down. And as explained earlier in the guidebook, some readers choose not to read reversals. It's optional and it's up to you. But in all of Chris Ann's decks, she tends to have two different meanings for the cards, whether they fall upright or upside down. Um, and she explains that reversals can represent negative traits, the opposite of the card's upright meaning or blocked or stagnant energy. And every creator of, of decks has a different way or variation of how they talk about uprights and reversals and whether they like to re read them or not. Now I'm going to read a sample from the guidebook and you'll see a sample of these light seer and shadow seer keywords and who knows maybe there's something in the overall message you need to hear today. So we're going to look at the seven of wands and here is a reminder of what that card looks like. I'm gonna try to hold it so there's as little glare as possible. Seven of Wands. The Light Seer keywords are challenge, grounding and protecting yourself, movement and growth, creative innovation, remaining ahead, feeling vulnerable, a sign to continue to share your ideas, self-expression. The upside down or shadow seer keywords are defending yourself, being attacked, being misunderstood, a need to erect energetic boundaries, a lack of preparation, and giving up. And let's get deeper into the meaning. Haters, they'll emerge only after you've made it to your perch, whipping their wands about and asking you to defend your accomplishments. Sometimes competition emerges as a result of shining brightly in the world. If you're feeling attacked after sharing your magic, it is important to remember that others likely want what you have. So stand up bravely and continue to do your beautiful thing. Mindfully call feelings of love and well-being into your body and create a protective bubble of energy around you. Remain synchronized and aligned with your bright vision and reject any low vibe negative states that others may be pushing. You don't have to accept their opinion as truth, especially when they are vying for your position. Check to make sure you are acting in a way that is aligned with your highest values. And when you know you are, don't let anyone stop you from achieving your dreams. And at the end, there is an affirmation. I am deserving of this success and I will bravely shine my light into the world. So that's Seven of Wands. And that is my review of this wonderful deck, the Lightseer's Tarot deck by Chris Ann. And remember, if you'd like to add this or any of Chris Ann's other decks to your collection, click the links in the description box where you can purchase them. I also have links to my other reviews of similar tarot and oracle decks, so check those out. And if you like this review, please leave a comment, hit the like, subscribe, and notification buttons, and please check out my other videos. Thank you so much for watching Deck Obsessed. This is Rhonda wishing you a beautiful day. See you next time.